If you were wondering what a floor looks like that really badly needs to be refinished, well, this is it. Sometimes floors can look really good when they're a little bit beaten up, they can look rustic, they can suit an old building, but not this, this is well worn. So this is a, a dance floor in a dance studio and we are um, sanding it during the lockdown period. Um, we actually quoted this floor well over a year ago, but because they're so busy, uh, I think they're open like seven days a week, we just couldn't, they couldn't find any time to get us in to sand the floor. So it's provided a good opportunity for us to get in there and make this floor look beautiful again. So we decided to start with a 36 grit straight instead of 36 grit di diagonal, which I often recommend. The reason being is that despite the fact the floor was really uh, worn out, it was pretty flat. So I thought if we just take the finish off with the, with the 36, which is 36 straight, which is a bit less aggressive than diagonal. And then we can do a, a 60 grit diagonal just to give it that last little bit of flatness and take out the, rem the remaining bruises from the scratches. Just wanted to get some sort of artistic shot before we go to the time lapse. Obviously this took us a few days, so I couldn't just go around recording it all. So this chap with the hoodie on is actually my twin brother. He could only help me for one day, so the rest of it was actually done by me, just on my own. But as you can see, he's going, because it's such a big area, he's going around the edge first, just to provide me with, uh, you know, an edge for me to sand with the edge, of that way we're both active, instead of just sanding the whole lot in one go. The camera actually makes it look quite good now, but it still looks pretty bad. It's so much bruising from the scratches. But as you can see now, the 60 grit really kind of cleans it up a bit. Makes it look a lot more fresh and clean. So that's doing the diagonal 60 grit. Thanks to Tadas Wood Floors for the free merchandise. Tadas works in Naperville. I think that's in or near Chicago. One of the best guys in the game. You should check him out on Instagram. Now we've done the 80 grit straight. And this is the 100 grit straight, I think. It was actually, I, we did this quite a while ago and I'm starting to forget now. Finally onto the trio. 
you just can't get a, a very smooth surface with a with a belt sander with a drum sander you need some sort of rotary sander or planetary sander to to get the floor really smooth same with the edger edger just doesn't it's very powerful it's good at removing finish but in order to get it nice and smooth around the edges you need to use a random orbital handheld sander this is the Rotex the Festool Rotex by far the best in my opinion some people will disagree this is the first coat going down now just a primer so what I'm doing in this studio uh, on this dance floor is I'm giving it a commercial uh, I'm giving it a commercial standard finish which is one coat of primer and three top coats of two compo two component polyurethane so um, as you probably know by now my favorite is Bonner Traffic HD Bonner Traffic HD is just so easy to use and it's very hard wearing it's a very good quality product unfortunately you pay for it but uh, after years of using other products I finally gave in to the more expensive Bonner and just I've not had a problem since it's absolutely brilliant there'll be some links in the description if you want to get the the lacquer the rollers all sorts of bits and pieces you need to refinish your floor I think this is, I can't, can't remember if this is the first or second top coat. I can't remember if I actually recorded all three top coats. That must have been the second because I always buff before the final coat. Final coat going down now, nice and smooth. you but I think that looks pretty good it's definitely worth a like and subscribe pretty sure the lighting wasn't the best here for the final shot but hopefully you can see very nice and clean very smooth I don't know why the camera is so shaky. I try my very best to hold it still, but I think it's the wide, wide angle lens just really wobbles. lady that owns the dance floor um, was kindly sent me a few pictures through looks very nice with the lighting and here's my miserable pictures like and subscribe